as bad as that is, I can show y'all something also set on Mars. Way worse. And if you're ready for it, way more racist. Oh, I, I f- had a feeling I, it was it going was there. Be, I'm, look, that's the precedent that was set in the discourse. Yeah, yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. They got the dreads. The, just, look, they're primitive. Yeah. They got yeah. that going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have y'all heard of terraformers? Yeah. This come out in the 80s? <laughs> no. Oh. This is like, it's no, this was like Terraform 2000. Mars. Terraform Mars with an A. Oh, because um, I'm getting the game. Yeah, no, it's... um. Like I think, I think people, it's Japanese. I think people who are watching have heard me say this, and they oh, already know what the fuck. I think is. I know what this is. It's black, but they're like ants. Like they're depicting black oh, people as these well, right? ants. Even worse, or roaches. Or roaches. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, this it is like place on Mars. It's dis- It's like, like literally, it's disturbing. Dark. I think I've seen this, and it is very disturbing. Yeah. 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 I don't even. It's like one of those things. Are I don't even know. Jamie, could you pull that up? Jamie, pull up. <laughs> I'll pull up one, hey, but hey, Jamie, pull Connor up. Connor can't laugh. He can't even react to it. Jamie, could you Plug pull up terraform? Close your eyes. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to Toy Story mode. <laughs> yeah, that's. Um, you gotta be like is, really sick to like. That's, that's pretty. This is. It's not like one character either. They yeah. they went like. Let's it's make the it whole the thing. whole thing. It's the whole thing. And that's the most tame. Oh yeah, image. I purposely yeah. yeah, I chose the most yeah. tame image. Yeah, but look, I'm I remember at, when I saw this, it just made me feel so amazing. Yeah. And look, uh, <laughs> I respect that you did that, but I am editing this episode, and so <laughs> no, <laughs> no. anybody who's this interested, three minute just, montage of a slideshow, just of terraformers. It. Yeah, <laughs> anybody who's interested, just Google it. Wait, it's so that's bad. supposed it's to take bad. place on Mars? It takes place on Mars. Yeah, it's like a. This is sick. They made an anime out of this? Yep. They sure did. What the fuck are they thinking? Crunchyroll's playing it? Crunchyroll is playing it. What? what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Crunchyroll? Oh, man. Crunchyroll, what's going on? Take that shit. Get that shit out look of here. Look Crunchy- in the promotional materials. They like put, put him in the back. Like, yeah, right. Geez. With all these very deliberately light-skinned people. I won't say white. Ra- racism in the like... I don't know what to call it, like the otaku weeb. Maybe it's just mostly otaku I'm thinking about. Like otaku yeah. sort of is, va- I feel like it's unique. Like it has a unique character to it. Yeah. Cause it's like it's- a mix of like, like textbook ignorance yeah. and like not being aware. And it, but there's no middle ground. The, the uh, only other side is like violent racism. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. It's, it's like this and so you have people that are kind of like oh, I don't see. They're just trying to like rationalize everything it, away and explain and you know it's, it's so acceptable. Strange. It's so and then strange. the other side is is just they're just racist. Like, yeah. It's that's so, what it feels like. It's so strange me. because there are people on the internet who can see a uh I remember when like this is a couple years and ago. And you always talked about this by the way. I yeah. Yeah, has whole yeah, video I've, essays about I've it. I've talked a lot about this. And I remember like that whole the video came out of dude on Japanese TV doing blackface and uh, like mm. a few people were like hey man this is fucked up and like 90% of the people yeah. were like they what don't are you even know what about? black people yeah. are what yeah. do you mean? what are you talking about this is how they like, show their love and they're showing love and appreciation yeah. for the culture and it's like bro there are so many <laughs> there are so many <laughs> bands out there that play black music and call it black music and don't do blackface mm. and it like, was jarring when I first like I don't know if it was my first I think my first year living in Japan, either my first or second year, I I like it was Halloween and it was my first time ever seeing someone in blackface before. Like oh, in wow. the flesh, like in real life. And it was wow. like so That's, wow. just like Yeah. I don't even know how to describe it. It's so it's just weird and bizarre and obviously makes you feel just like so degraded and like dehumanized. But you're also just like, how do you get, how did you get there? How did yeah. you like, right? how are you, like, I don't know. It's right. so weird to me. I saw a clown in blackface in LA one time. He waved at me from a car. <laughs> bonk, bonk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but this was like, this was a Japanese, I have pictures. Yeah. I could dig dig it up on my phone. I, I was literally yeah. just like, like looking around like right. what the fuck it's it's crazy how um, casual people are with that shit man. but I, I was gonna say he he was dressed up like 
he was he was just he was clearly supposed to be dressed up like as a black person like he was right. just wearing like normal clothes and then he had like an afro and then like black face paint on and then like the red lips and like all of that right and there's like whole groups like performing groups in japan today that perform in blackface Jesus. Yeah. as well Crazy mind fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. I do. Sure. Were you, were you a crazy an, mind fuck. Waiting for an answer. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese people were doing blackface in the concentration camps in California. Like they were doing, they were doing uh, blackface performances, like in wow. those conditions. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. It's like a mind fuck to, like that's why I just I had to prepare to to say humans it. are Yo, so fucking weird. Intersectionality like, is a motherfucker. Thank you. Bro. This is why just <laughs> if you haven't done it yet, intersectionality it won't fail you as a framework. Try it out. Right. Liberals use it to mean everything except class. Take the class component, throw it in there. It's useful. Power. It helps clarify a lot of things. Yeah. Because I can like look at that. And I can go, ooh, white supremacy at work on all fronts, right. colonization of the mind, right? right. The model minority bullshit. I can like, right. I can unpack it in that way. Yeah, you know, God, right? That's fucking crazy. It's like intersectionality. If you were to to describe <laughs> intersectionality in a phrase, it would be. There's levels to this shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> literally, <laughs> hey, there's levels to this shit. Yeah, they. They getting fucked over, but they like it's somebody beneath them. You feel me? So yeah. it's like, what are they doing yeah. with their power that they have though? It's like, levels to this. Right. Right. <clears throat> but yeah, no, it's I like, had that same the way y'all just reacted, like when I I found it, it wasn't I didn't find it through uh an article. I didn't find it through there was no write up. I was literally looking through like I don't know if it was Getty images or like I was literally looking through like archives mm -hmm. right from the the camps. Yeah. Oh my and God. just scrolling through and then saw it. Jesus. And I was like You just you stumbled across yeah, this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God. Crazy. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. And Holy it's, shit. I don't know how how well known it is that that occurred. Yeah. Like, I've yes, never heard that. That's crazy. Yeah. It's also it's crazy that like there are so many people this is such a common thread that people would hear that and immediately use it to demonize Asian people or I guess in this case Japanese people just whole cloth across the board mm -hmm. and i feel like that trend is growing right now not mm -hmm. not even specific to asian people there is that trend but it's like mm -hmm. just across the board there it's happening with jewish people asian people uh uh just any non uh non-black group of uh group of people actually it's across the board i'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not, not it doesn't even have to be specific to non-black people but everybody's just so quick to say like like why should i support this group of people when they did this to black people right. they do this to my people and it's just mm -hmm. like there's just so much of that going on and i just uh, i don't even have a broader point i feel like it's just yeah it's you, just embarrassing yeah. you know yeah to like to keep letting ourselves fall into that trap that trap you know? the dichotomy trap that's yeah, what it is. It's, a, right. it's the categorical thinking and then dichotomies. Right. So you're not able to like take in the holistic, literally the levels to this shit and then get a clear picture about how we can like move forward together. Right. But like, I also wanted to say on this point, like this is why I would really hope non-black people can like empathize and understand why black people, a lot of black people are just just done dealing with or just uncomfortable doing anything with people who aren't black yeah because you look at the evidence and you look at history and you go oh everyone hate there's consensus of hatred within every mm -hmm. sort of right. like non-black culture even yeah. people with black skin like in yeah. the desi community yeah. your skin's darker than mine but i'm you know i'm like 
trash to you right. you know so it's like I, I would i would hope more people could like understand from from that that perspective and that point of view that also like leads to like a baseline discomfort a lot of black people are going to have doing things with someone who isn't black because you're just like i don't know what the fuck is going on in this person's head right. Right. like even if they want to be like a good person or like nice to me or whatever like i don't know there's so many yeah there's, that, yeah. that subconscious yeah. conditioning i don't know yeah. what the fuck they're really like thinking yeah. you know yeah. you can't you feel like you can't really trust it right well it's just like you you're if you're more aware of just like how early the conditioning starts you basically have that presumption mm -hmm. you know like yeah like I, don't know, I also feel like the the same goes for like women and men too like i don't mm -hmm. blame any women that are just like literally oh, yeah. just done with men yeah oh, stop yeah. giving them exactly. chances yeah absolutely don't want to operate with them i don't blame that yeah. either yeah it's like, why risk anything <clears throat> right. it's just insane even it's if like, it's just disappointment yeah. why why <laughs> yeah right <laughs> right why put myself through that yeah. yeah you know yeah but yeah to reiterate like it's frustrating because i've i have a lot of people I'll say a lot of people with our like shared values and like politics, they don't like to use the word, maybe not a lot, but a considerable amount of people don't like to use the word intersectionality because they feel like it's been co-opted. Sounds like right? really clinical. And yeah, but, or just that it's been co-opted. I think I'm uh, co-opted. I mentioned that Amazon like said intersectionality like on their website or something at, at yeah. some yeah. point. Right. Um, but like the foundations, the roots are just in the same shit that Bell Hooks was talking about. Even what Murray Bookchin was was fucking talking about. Right. It's just it's power and, and power around not just identity, but class, like m material things, too. Every when factor. you when you when you look at all of that, you can look at each individual person <clears throat> and see a complex matrix of factors that make up who they are right. and so then you can you can take into account and sort of like balance all of these different things especially like in an organizational context and be like mm -hmm. oh it makes sense that this is happening or that this person is in this space now because they have more access here they have this person has less access here right. Right. you know yeah it's it's also like crazy how like white supremacy is kind of like go, it goes downstream like it like it's like it yeah affects all these different things in these different directions and kind of like splits up and like branches out and shit that's why yeah. i love how i love the description of like when people say the 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 white man in your head or the cop in your head or the boss yeah. in your head because it is systems that we're talking about here right. it's not right. fucking we're not talking about like an we're not talking about things at an individual level but in terms of your own conditioning, right. the conditioning that all of us have, regardless of our identity, we all have this sort of conditioning. Right. Yeah. You can it helps you to sort of like understand it more of like, oh, why did I like why did I think that? Or why did I assume that? Right. right Where's that right. voice coming from? And then yeah. you can like tie it to the system. And then when you're like, okay, the system, okay, how does how do these social systems of domination concretely manifest themselves in my life and in the work that I'm trying to do. And then yeah. that's where I feel like you start having a practical, concrete sort of like conversation. Yeah.